More than 2,000 years ago, Euclid, the famous Greek mathematician, said that all objects have three dimensions, which are the length, breadth, and height. But characteristically, the scientific community is never satisfied with what has been discovered so far. Beginning in the 18th century, mathematicians like Jean Laurent d'Alembert, Joseph Louis Lagrange, Bernhard Riemann, Charles Howard Hinton, and later Albert Einstein began referencing to the existence of a fourth dimension, which is time. But how does this work? We can easily understand or even alter the other three dimensions of an object. But how do we alter the time dimension? Well, we are all objects, and we travel through time. In fact, it takes us one year in time to travel in between our birthdays each year. But it takes us one year to travel one year. We cannot do it any faster or slower. However, let's take a moment to imagine what would it be like to alter the time dimension. But what actually happens when we imagine? Well, when we imagine, we envision a scenario that transcends the reality of our present situation. When we imagine, we visualize a different world in which the experiences are different. And these changed experiences can evoke different feelings in us than our current situation. Our imagination has the power to transform what is to what could be. Simply put, when we imagine, we create our own alternate reality. In fact, every single person on this world, from the very first human to each one of us present in this hall today, have our own alternate realities in our imaginations. Imagination is a great tool, the fundamental force behind our progress. When we imagine an alternate reality, we can solve the problems in the real world by bringing them to the imaginary world. But the bottleneck with solving problems in the imaginary world is that as long as the solution to an issue remains within a person's head, it has no positive impact upon this world. It needs a vehicle to come to this world. And half a century ago, this became possible. Enter virtual reality. A person could now visually recreate his or her alternate reality for another person to view and experience. Now, when we all hear the word virtual reality, we immediately picture a person wearing VR glasses and viewing an alternate reality. But when we think about it, this is exactly the limitation of virtual reality. Virtual reality only helps us view an alternate reality. It does not allow us to modify it or interact with it in any way to make it better. And this is where artificial intelligence comes in. Artificial intelligence is basically technology that simulates human intelligence and therefore would be perfect for predicting the future of events and making changes to the alternate reality. Virtual reality, when combined with artificial intelligence, becomes a superpower. When used in the right way, the potential for virtually simulating an alternate reality is immense. Just think about it. Combined with robust imagination and artificial intelligence, the technology of virtual reality has put in our hands the superpower to create and travel to alternate realities. Using artificial intelligence, we can interact with and modify these simulated situations in any way we wish. We can even add or remove parameters to these simulations and observe the effect of our changes in the past and the future from many different angles we can now find sure and effective solutions to the problems that we have in our real world. Instead of implementing a solution and waiting painfully slowly, one second at a time to see if it works, we can now simulate these changes, move to different lengths of time in the future to see if the solution still holds, and get those results instantly. Time finally is in our hands. Now, Imagine unleashing the power bestowed upon us by this technology for some good use, while the time and conditions are prime for it. What about space exploration, helping us discover other planets that are habitable and predicting the future of stars and planets? 
The light that we get from faraway stars in space takes such a long time to reach us that by the time it actually reaches us, this star would already have changed its form. We can use the technology of virtual reality along with artificial intelligence to predict the future of space and those events that might affect us. In fact, world leaders can also use this technology to predict the outcome of their current climate change actions in the future. In fact, this groundbreaking technology can be used anywhere where the risk of affects the human life or the environment is too great. Simulating a plethora of outcomes and getting those results instantly is the best way to better our world more efficiently. My dear friends, this is time travel. Alternate reality is not a fantasy anymore. Time travel is not an elusive concept anymore. VR plus AI gives a better reality. This is the new formula for a better world. Now, there is truly no limit to the power of imagination. Many of us would have heard the quote by T.E. Lawrence. All men dream, but not equally. Those who dream at night in the dusty recesses of their mind wake up in the day to find it was vanity. But the dreamers of the day are dangerous men, for they may act upon their dream with open eyes to make it possible. Let us all strive to belong to this category of dreamers who envision a grand new world and convert that alternate reality to the reality. Thank you.